excellent royal are you happy to be here today i am happy and i know you are too it's another beautiful time to enjoy god's presence but before we start let's say a word of prayer and together eyes closed as we pray in jesus name did you just say amen so i want to hear it louder in jesus name awesome father we thank you for today we thank you for bringing us once again to your presence to enjoy all that you have in store for us today we ask for god that everything we will do here today to help us to know you better love you better and serve you better in jesus name we are praying amen enjoy the rest of the service enjoy the rest of the service excited to be here today so let's take our confession put your hand on your chest and say this after me I am royalty because I am a child of God let's do that again I am royalty because I am a child of God our nugget for today says polite speech and this is part three now say this after me i am royalty i say please if i want something from someone i am royalty i say please if I want something from someone, great job. Number two, I am royalty. I say hello. If someone says hello to me, I am royalty. I say hello. If someone says hello to me, yeah you're doing great number three 
I am royalty. I say hi. If someone says hi to me, I am royalty. I say hi. If someone says hi to me, well done. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back for God Story Time. I am back. And guess what? It's God Story Time. Yeah! Bible Story. God Story. Bible story, God story. Are you ready? Super duper ready? If so, where is your Bible? If you don't have it, go and get it. Now, lift it up like this. All right now, say after me. This is the Bible. It is God's word. God wrote it. So we know everything in it is true. Because God cannot lie. Great royal. Now say this after me. Speak, Lord, I am your child, and I am listening. Bravo! When last did you hear God's story? If you heard God's story last, during last week, God's story time, that is great. But then, you should hear God's story every day. Yes! Before you sleep every day, tell your mom or your dad to read you a story from God's storybook, the Bible. There are many wonderful stories in God's storybook. Today, our story says, God is my super helper. What did I say? God is my super helper. Say it with me. God is my super helper. Yes, he is. Tell me, what is this? A school bag. You're right. If you want to go to school with your school bag, who will help you carry it? Do you call God to help you because he is your super helper? Oh no! You should carry your school bag by yourself because you can. Now, what's this? A pair of glasses. Who are right? If your daddy asks you to get him his glasses, do you call God to help you to get him the glasses? Again, no. You should get the glasses for your daddy because you can. So are you wondering when you call God, your super helper to help you? Listen to this story and you will know when to call God, your super helper to help you. Now, look at this strong and mighty man. This man's name is Goliath. He was tall as a tree and had a voice like thunder. Goliath abused God and troubled the children of God and wanted a fight. And do you know who agreed to fight this mighty man for God's people? A small boy named David. Ha! All the people of God and Saul, their king, told David 
He cannot fight this mighty man. But David was very serious and stepped out in front of Goliath with his sling and stone. As Goliath the mighty man saw David, he began to say things to make David afraid. But was David afraid? Oh no! Let's read what David did from the Bible. Our Bible story reading is from 1 Samuel chapter 17 from verse 45 to 46. David said to the Philistine, You come to me using sword, spear, and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord All-Powerful, the God of the armies of Israel. You have said bad things about him. Today, the Lord will let me defeat you. I will kill you. I will cut off your head and feed your body to the birds and wild animals. Then all the world will know there is God in Israel. Ha! Did you hear what David said? David told Goliath that God was with him to help him. And did God help little David kill the mighty Goliath? Oh yes! God helped David! What picture do you see now? Goliath is on the floor! Yes! Why did David pray and ask God to help him kill Goliath? David prayed and asked God to help him fight and kill Goliath because he could not fight Goliath by himself. For Goliath was scary and bigger than him. David also called God to help him because he knew that God is his super helper. Sweet Royal, do you now know when to call God to help you? You call God to help you when your mommy and your daddy are not with you and there is something or someone scary or bigger than you that is making you afraid, like a scary dream, thunder when it is raining, or even when the night is dark. And do you know why you should call God at such time? You should call God because he has power more than everything and everybody in the whole world. And he is your super helper. And to call and ask God to help you, put your hands together, close your eyes, and tell God, Help me, God. Or say, Help me, Jesus. And he will help you. There is one lesson I don't want you to forget. And the lesson is, God is your super helper. And as you tell him to help you, he will help you. Now say this, God is my super helper. And as I tell him to help me, he will help me. Great job, Royal. Now let's take our memory verse. And our memory verse is taken from Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. And it says, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Let's take it again. Our memory verse is taken from Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. And it says, For I can do everything 
through Christ who gives me strength. It has a song. Listen to it, learn it, and sing it. For I can do everything, everything, everything. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. For I can do everything, everything, everything. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13 Do you know what time it is? It's time for our home play. And the first question is, who will you call to help you carry your school bag? Nobody! You will carry your school bag by yourself! Bravo! You are right! Now number two question! What will you do when you wake up after a scary dream at night? You don't know what to do. Pray to God to help you not to be afraid. Did you get that? You pray to God to help you not to be afraid. Now, number three question. If you need God to help you, what will you say? You put your hands together, you close your eyes and say, God, help me. Or, Jesus, help me. Great Royal! You did well! And with that, we have come to the end of today's God Story Time. Thank you, thank you, thank you for staying to the end. I hope you learned something. And I hope you enjoyed it. Because I did! Now, before you go, tell your mom or your dad to follow us on YouTube and join our Telegram channel. Tell them to also download the Royal Scroll for the week from the link showing on your screen. Now, Royal, go and conquer your world in Jesus' name. Bye!